A New Hampshire waiver of full administration offers a simple and quick distribution of the assets of a deceased person's estate. This process is only available to certain types of successors. In this video, we'll discuss the four steps to completing and filing a waiver of full administration in New Hampshire. Step one, verify eligibility. Step two, file petition for estate administration. Step three, wait. Step four, file the affidavit. Make sure to grab your template for a New Hampshire waiver of full administration at the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content from eForms, the world's largest database of official legal documents. So let's begin. Step one, verify eligibility. The person who completes a waiver of administration is known as an affiant. The process is only available under the following conditions. If the decedent had a will, the affiant has to be the only named beneficiary. Whether or not the decedent had a will, the following successors are eligible in order of priority. A surviving spouse, a sole surviving child, a surviving parent or parents, or a trustee of a trust created by the deceased person. Step two, file petition for estate administration. Filing a petition for a state administration opens a case in New Hampshire's probate system. Do not mistake this form for the waiver of full administration. On the application, it is crucial to select the option to seek a waiver of administration. The application must also include a certified copy of the deceased person's death certificate. File the application with the probate court in the county where the decedent resided at the time of their death. Step three, wait. The affiant for waiver of administration can only be filed between six months and one year after the affiant has been named as administrator for the estate with the previous application. In the meantime, verify the estate has no unresolved debts against it. Only estates without pending claims are eligible to waive administration. Step four, file the affidavit. Submit the notarized form to the same probate court that accepted the petition to open the case. A probate judge will rule on the petition and then close the case. However, it's important to keep all of the paperwork safe. Even after the estate has been closed through the affidavit process, it stays eligible to be reopened to full administration. Before we go, where can you find legal documents online? Click the button to the right of this video for a New Hampshire waiver of full administration. If you are in need of an estate planning checklist, a last will and testament, power of attorney, or any other form, we have thousands of state-specific ready-to-go templates available for you to download.